good Thursday morning. New lows coming again on the S&P. Uh, folks, uh, this will not stop. I've been talking about this incessantly, but we will not stop. This tarp won't work. What we need is a leader, yes, a leader in our hopefully new government who come out and say, folks, we're not going to be bailing out banks. We're not going to be bailing out GM. Until somebody says that, uh, no, things are going to stay in this muddled area, and, and unfortunately, through the end of the year, we're going to continue to see this selling. We're down 45% to date, but uh, I, you know, I probably think fair price is somewhere going to be as it settles next year. It, we could see the 600s. I said in 2001 we were going there. We were probably going to go to 600 on the S&P or 6,000 on the Dow, about the same level at this point, because Dow's at 8,000, S&P at uh, 800. Let's call it. That uh, that said, I think we were really going to go there uh, at the, at that point. But then 9/11 came. 9/11 came, created the uh, false uh, credit debacle by uh, the, by Greenspan taking Greenspan taking the rates down to zero, actually net negative at that point. That created the echo bubble of the housing and the credit bubble that's going to play out for years here. How, this. Uh, this housing uh, and inventory is not going to go away overnight. Even you know, we're not going to see a V bottom. This is going to take a long, long time to play out. With that being said, trading is really again. I'm going to keep going back to this. Trading is the only way to stay in this market. You don't want to be in this market long term. Uh, on the bu on the buy side, it just doesn't make sense unless you're a trader and just making trades. Right now, uh, again, I haven't even been playing in stocks for the last few last few weeks. There's no point. Everything is going to continue to go down. We're going to see Apple in the 60 level in 09, I've said, and I'll continue to stay. We're at 85, so you can take your 85 today, 90, 100 in a, in, in a couple weeks, but it's not going back to uh, 200 here in the next uh, two years. It's going to go to 60 at least first, if not lower. So keep this in mind. Uh, things are going to continue to get uh, tougher. Um, first solar down another nine dollars today trading ninety two dollars uh... you know the s&p is down fifteen basically basically where it was overnight we had a little uh... uh... city group uh... saudi prince rally there at uh... four o'clock or so when he's gonna, he said he's going to take a stake back to five percent big whoop i mean it's been i mean who cares about a saudi prince uh, taking a minuscule stake at this point and uh, with his big oil dollars that's not going to affect the market long term so that's where we are. Um, S and P again, 795. Pivot is 820. We're way below the pivot. I'll be a seller again of rallies until we can get over 825. Uh, there's no point in trying to uh, game this market. It's pretty simple. Know the pivot and know which side of the market to be on. I'll be selling and uh, enjoy yourselves today and uh, have a great trading day. The trading has been fantastic. Uh, again, if you're not making money. Check us out. On, we've got a very exclusive small group of uh, traders that uh, we're talking trading every day. And you can call Eric, 888-201-4201, and he'll uh, tell you all about it. We've, we're only taking uh, 20 people. It's not going to be this big chat room thing. We're not into the whole big chat room uh, piker fest uh, where everybody's looking for free rides. This is serious traders only, and if you're not a serious trader, don't even bother calling. Peace.